Item number SCP-4091 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Currently, Junior Researcher Shepherd is kept in a standard humanoid containment chamber at Site-25, an area with a radius of 5 meters around Junior Researcher Shepherd is to be monitored at all times. When SCP-4091-1 manifests, it is to be intercepted by Foundation security personnel and kept in containment until demanifestation. Description SCP-4091 is a phenomenon involving the spontaneous manifestation of a single King's Lupus familiaris, designated SCP-4091-1, within a 5-meter radius of Junior Researcher Shepherd. The time between SCP-4091 occurrences varies greatly, with the longest recorded time being 3 months, and the shortest recorded time being 1 hour. SCP-4091-1 is sapient and capable of speech. Upon manifestation, SCP-4091-1 will attempt to locate and converse with Junior Researcher Shepherd. SCP-4091-1 will demanifest following the conclusion of this conversation, or if it is unable to locate Junior Researcher Shepherd within 30 minutes of manifestation. Addendum a recorded conversation between Junior Researcher Shepherd and SCP-4091-1. Begin log. Oh, it's you. How have you been? Pretty good. That's good. So, has anything interesting happened since I left? Not really. We all just kind of hang around. Yeah, I figured. Nothing really happened when I was there either. That's not true. Remember how pissed Mike's mom was when he slipped and got mud all over his new jeans? We were laughing about that for years. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Junior Researcher Shepherd stares at the floor. SCP-4091-1 and Junior Researcher Shepherd remain silent for 40 seconds. I miss you, dude. Yeah, I know. Will you ever come back? I don't know if I can. Why's that? I work here. What's work? You wouldn't get it. Oh, so, uh, think you can come back later? Probably not. Damn, that's a bummer. Yeah. Foundation security personnel arrived. SCP-4091-1 demanifests. End log. When questioned, Junior Researcher Shepherd refuses to elaborate on his conversation with SCP-4091-1. Item Number SCP-4120 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures D-Class Personnel with Moderate Experience in Animal Handling have been assigned to carry out SCP-4120's care. For the purpose of SCP-4120's mental health, until the point where it would be naturally retired, a diabetic D-Class, D-0412, has been assigned to live with SCP-4120 in a humanoid dormitory containment chamber within Site-77. Foundation doctors are to independently monitor D-0412's condition to ensure that it is not terminated by SCP-4120 and to study any effect SCP-4120 may have. Description An adult yellow Labrador has been designated as SCP-4120. It is trained as a service animal for those suffering from, from post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, and diabetes. SCP-4120 was neutered prior to initial containment. It has been disputed whether the entity designated as SCP-4120 is completely responsible for the anomalous offense associated with it. Subjects who have bonded with SCP-4120 and utilized it as a service animal are anomalously likely to experience injury or death while in the company of SCP-4120. These accidents are not directly caused by SCP-4120 and cause it to experience severe stress. During these accidents, messages will appear on its coat relevant to the injuries. When not exercising its training, SCP-4120 becomes anxious. 
It won't bark for hours on end, as well as stress-induced bowel movement and attempting to eat the implements present in the chamber. It is possible that this mental state causes an escalation of SCP-4120's effect. See Incident Log 4120-V for more details. As a result of these incidents, SCP-4120 is reluctant to engage with human subjects, although it has never displayed aggression when approached by Foundation operatives. Usually, SCP-4120 shows a desire to engage with human subjects, followed by fear and reluctance. It is possible that SCP-4120 has some awareness of its anomalous properties. Canine psychiatric exercises to improve morale have been considered, as early death due to isolation or stress will not be conductive to SCP-4120 related research. SCP-4120 was discovered during operations against a person of interest, a thaumaturge associated with a cover in Akron, Ohio. The infant child the POI had perished due to diabetes-related complications, while SCP-4120 slept. The POI surrendered to Foundation agents following this occurrence. In the course of securing the subject, SCP-4120 was noted to have been covered in unknown symbols and characters, but as most of the POI's possessions had similar markings, this was not considered a point of interest at the time. After being adopted to a subject outside the Foundation through a front company, Society of Compassionate Pet Partners, the anomalous properties affecting SCP-4120 became apparent when the owner died in a freak accident. After further incidents involving Foundation agents, SCP-4120 was classified as Euclid and designated contained on April 12, 2016. Addendum Incidents related to SCP-4120 Examples of injuries associated with SCP-4120 Subject Injury and context Woman Korean 20 years old PTSD sufferer Subject suffered a severe concussion after slipping in the shower Present in the room during this time, SCP-4120 alerted other subjects within the residence SCP-4120 was subsequently surrendered to the Foundation. No note was made of any alterations to SCP-4120's coat. Foundation Agent While walking SCP-4120 outside the front company, SCP-4120 was off its leash in an enclosed area when a branch fell from the tree, crushing the agent supervising SCP-4120 and causing the chest cavity to collapse. First respondents noted that the word fetch had appeared on SCP-4120's coat in black block text. D-Class Subjects The original assigned handler of SCP-4120, D-0401, was running through basic commands. During the course of this exercise, D-0401 slipped on liquid, which had pulled underfoot due to a plumbing leak. D-0401 suffered a broken wrist. The word shake appeared on SCP-4120's coat. Multiple Foundation agents are being moved due to construction. The portion of the facility which SCP-4120 was located in suffered a gas leak. During the course of a lockdown, the Foundation agents escorting SCP-4120 were poisoned and entered a semi-vegetative state. SCP-4120 was unharmed, and the text, Play Dead, was noted to have appeared along its tail coat. Addendum Incident 4120-V On Beep, Beep 18 all personnel working at Site-77 doing work with direct or tertiary relation to SCP-4120 suffered spontaneous generated flea infestations on their bodies. Normal termination procedures suppressed a larger infestation, although three researchers were hospitalized for typhus infections. SCP-4120 was found in its containment chamber under severe stress with the word suffer 
covering its coat on all parts of its body. Potential alterations to its containment procedures are under review.